Welcome to the show. We're back. Better late than never. And we're definitely having a few teething problems today. In fact, it seems like everything I try to do to fix things just makes it worse. Uh, if you were here for our uh, Saturday live stream, which was more than a week ago now, uh, we had all kinds of disastrous frame skipping problems. Uh, the stream basically was unwatchable. So I ended up deleting the whole stream afterwards. I keep saying I'm going to go re upload the, uh, my local copy to YouTube, but it hasn't happened yet. Uh, so today I've been trying to fix things before the show started and uh, everything I do just seems to make it worse. Uh, I've now got my Surface sitting next to me. Uh, so I'm working off the desktop as usual but I've also got the Surface here because I thought I could reduce some of the overhead and some of the things I need to have open and therefore have uh, less strain on my main PC if I just have my Surface open next to me. My Surface now is not starting, which is potentially disastrous, so it better start. Um, <laughs> what next? Seriously, what next? Okay, right. Let's begin. We're just going to go because eventually you can only spend so much time fiddling. Oh, there we go. The surface has uh, just put up the login screen, so that's a good sign. Anyway, some things around here. That's how bad things are. I've got to the point now where I need two computers to stream. One to try and keep an eye on everything, and one to actually do the stream and have uh, Clip Studio Paint open. Anyway, how are all of you today? I hope you're doing well. All of you core believers, thank you for coming back after our uh, little hiatus there and not forgetting about me. Because I haven't forgotten about you. Uh, this is the poster that we finished on that Saturday stream uh, before my uh, week off. And it's still not available for purchase yet. It's going to be. I had to... Uh, I've been so busy working on the uh, main comic. Uh, and doing the next couple of issues. And as a result, uh, this completely got uh, sidelined. I haven't uh, got a chance to do anything else with this since we finished it. So this morning I have been uh, just going over it and I had to fix some things up because some of the colour uh, layers were not uh, correctly aligned behind the liner layers so it was a little bit of a mess to be honest with you um, I've tweaked that now I don't think there's much more to do maybe few little things here and there but the bulk of the work on this is done so what's going to happen is excuse me I'm just juggling some things here uh, so what what's going to happen is this poster is going to go up on Kofi today I think Uh, and also on Teespring at some point as well. Uh, keep an eye on the Kirby Twitter page and I'll let you know about that. Uh, basically it's going to be a case of anybody who make, wants to make a donation to Kofi, uh, to Kirby on Kofi, or to me on Kofi, or however you want to say it, uh, would get, uh, would be able to download a high res version of uh, this poster and you can print it out and Make it any size you want, place it anywhere that you want to, uh, in whatever format that you choose. Okay. Um, 
switch back to performance mode just to try and stop the skipping because again it was the same thing that we had um on Saturday stream where I was getting 99% CPU usage and uh, basically it was like a stealth room for half an hour it was the absolute worst possible thing that could have happened um, and I had no idea how to fix it I think I've got that sorted now but even so it's still, I'm still getting these spikes uh, CPU specs and my I don't know if you can hear it on stream but my computer is still well it's it's quieting down a bit now it's down to 51% CPU it was at 99% before and it just sounded like it was gonna take off uh, like uh, the whole desktop was about to fly away I think But anyway, and I'm still juggling some things behind the behind the scenes here, folks. So do bear with me. Okay, we're just gonna go. Not entirely very well organized today, I don't think. Sorry about this folks, I'm going to get on and get, start talking about the next project, but I'm really having this constant cheating problems. So, this poster, uh, I think will go up on Kofi today, and it'll be from a minimum donation of, I believe it's one dollar, one US dollar, uh, any contribution that you make to the um, Kofi, the Corby page on Kofi will unlock that. Um, the other thing is, uh, that's not also, that's in addition to the other um, posters and da downloadable content that's already available. You can get the Kirby Don't Ask Me About My Subvert Agenda poster as well. And there's going to be more content in the future, but that's not what we're here for today. So. Okay, we're just going to settle into things here. I know it's been it's been like a stressful half hour or so of me just trying to iron out some of the problems that we've had, but. Let's move on. So that project is done. We've done this uh, poster in our group poster. It took us a long time. It was two weeks worth of streams to just uh, refine all of this art and get that to the point where it's finished. It will go up on Kofi and then it'll go on Teespring as well, I should mention. Um, so you'll be able to actually purchase a proper poster as well, a proper printed poster and get that delivered to your home and uh, yeah I, I, I hope uh, that you will do so uh, especially if you've been with us on stream it's been a bit of a you know a group project we've done it together uh, got through it made this poster out of art that wasn't even originally supposed to be a good uh, you know 
we weren't going to do anything with it, but we took it and made something special with it, so. Moving on. Uh, here we have the silhouettes of two new characters who are going to be appearing in uh, some subsequent or some forthcoming Kirby stories. Start with the next storyline that's going to be appeal appearing in the daily comic strip series which I'm working on just now. Slowly but surely uh, that is coming along. So uh, what we're going to be doing on today's stream and it's probably going to be today's stream and now tomorrow's stream as well because we've taken so long today so we're not going to get this done in one day uh, but we're going to reveal the identities of these new characters who are well, I'll give you some clues first about them all I'll just like tease you with some additional information first right first of all two more students from Korean school and a Dale Academy. They are not enemies of uh, Karen and Sadie. They are neutral slash allies. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly reveal who they are. We're going to take a bit of it and get rid of this one. Well, we won't reveal both of them right this minute. I'm going to tease this out a little bit. I'm going to make you wait and I keep coming back because I don't think we're going to get both of them, of them coloured on stream today. So I think what we'll do is I will reveal one of the characters for the first time here on Club Corby right now. I'm just gonna lower the opacity on this. There we go. And this is Barelli, who, well, there's a story behind the name. He's actually, the name sounds French, but there's uh, a bit of backstory behind the name. She is, in fact, uh, the first Latina character to be introduced to the cast of Corby. I'm trying to mix things up, and uh, I felt like the cast was very, it was a very all white cast, and that was really just the. Uh, because of the way that the story unfolded and the fact that so many of the characters are from Corinne's family tree uh, or you know her ancestors and things like that so many of the characters that we've seen so far so we ended up with because Corinne uh, obviously has something like Irish uh, ancestry so we ended up with a very white cast so I want to have more characters who are uh, you know, a bit more diverse and uh, mix things up a little bit more, so. Um, and Orly is really sort of like the archivist of uh, the class and is uh, a character who knows a lot about the inner workings of Annadale Academy and its history. Uh, somebody who spends a lot of time Doing uh, she's a researcher, uh, the sort of person who knows the school library like the back of her hand. So on today's stream, we're gonna just start adding the colours. I have got the uh, colour scheme here somewhere. And also the colour scheme for character 2, so there's a little bit of a tease for you. Let's 
So on today's stream, we're going to just start uh, coloring orally and uh, I don't know how long it's going to take us. But uh, we'll, just, we'll just do that. And that'll be, again, another little fun side project because I, uh, I'm not really set up just now to show you what's happening with the actual Gaelic comics. The other thing is, the reason why I'm doing these two characters just now is I kind of uh, hit a point in the storyline where they both appear and also the other new character I already sort of had a character designed for. She's been in the development uh, in the development process, I guess you might say, for years. I had that character already designed. Orally, I, I had some ideas for what I wanted her to look like, but I sort of had to throw this character, just, uh, just start putting this character design together as the story is progressing. So it was like, now is the time to really get them both uh, on paper and see what they would look like in the new cover still, in the new style, not new now new relative to when the other character was designed because that was in 2017 I guess so a lot has changed since then anyway uh, we're just going to start laying down some colours and just set them to it I'm a little bit uh, I don't know if you said a lot about the age today, but obviously that's just because we've been having so many technical issues and I'm a little bit not back into my routine yet. After being off stream for so long. So there's that too. We're just going to start like doing some flat colours and just settle up into things. I will be streaming today until 4 o'clock. Same as we usually do. As soon as I start colouring there as well, I get start getting frame skipping messages, it starts going up, so oh. Worst comes to worst and it sounds silly. We may end up at some point in the future uh, just doing everything from my surface and seeing if that's any better. Just lay down some skin tones first. And you'll notice that unlike our previous project when we did the poster art, I'm not spending any time today cleaning up uh, the art because this was all done within Clip Studio Paint so there was no there was no pen and paper or pencil and paper element to this art I did it, I did all the original line art on my surface pure And that kind of ended up being... This is most of my Sunday actually, was just getting these two characters on paper and getting them right. So it's a very different sort of uh, workflow for me. To just... Uh, cut out so much of the you know, 
the initial prep work and uh, the clean up and all that kind of stuff which is so time consuming in and of itself. But that's how uh, I've done all of the daily strips for the next storyline now. The, oh, uh, the recap ones that I did on Club Kirby uh, were all pencil and then uh, they were all inked and then we had to clean them all up on stream and it was still very time consuming so that wasn't going to fly as far as I need to be able to create a lot of content very quickly for our purposes. So I've really started to transition over to just doing everything digitally. I kind of ended up uh, having to make some design decisions with these two characters because they both ended up having uh, similar sort of, uh, or we're going to end up having very similar sort of hair and eye colour and so I had to come up with some creative ways to differentiate them. So much of uh, the work that I do in Kirby is about, uh, in terms of character design, is trying to find ways to make everybody very visually distinct, and that's more important than ever now that uh, we're shifting over to doing a black and white co format comic as opposed to a colour one and we were colouring these characters just so we can kind of get a handle on what they should look like in the daily comic they're not going to be in colour obviously everybody's going to be in black and white but giving everybody distinct colours is part of Effective character design, at least for me, and uh, it's it's very important. But also coming up with ways to differentiate everybody in terms of the way that they wear their uniforms and things like that. You, I, I'm sure I've spoken about this on stream before, but you have certain constrictions. If everybody's gonna, if you're doing something in a school setting and everybody wears uniforms, then you have to find ways to work within that framework, so having Larry wear the, the uh, blouse, but also, you know, uh, the, have the blazer sort of wrapped around the waist, helps to differentiate from everybody else. I mean, as an example, uh, Ruby wears the blouse as well, but doesn't, uh, but has the sleeves turned up. 
little things like that. The shape of the hair is very different to uh, Ruby's as well. I was very concerned that her design, that Orly's design was a bit too, going to be a bit too close to to Ruby's. And so I really decided to mix things up in terms of the, the way that the hair sort of lands and it doesn't curl the same way, it doesn't come up into the same uh, pattern of curls I suppose you could say as uh, as Ruby's does. And obviously Ruby has her own visual cues like the Alice band and things like that as well. In terms of character design, I feel like it, a lot of it really is about striking a balance. Trying to work within the confines of the style that of your own personal style. And all the characters need to look like they belong in the same universe. Or at least that's very important to me anyway, I mean. A lot of my design philosophy stems from that. And it's that balance between everybody has to have uniform design elements. Uh, I don't mean school uniform, I mean uniform design elements in that everybody looks like they belong in the same universe, if that makes sense. So, but there is. consistent visual line between everybody, everybody's in the same style. Um, well at the same time, like I said, everybody has to be visually distinct enough that you can tell who everybody is and their designs have to reflect a lot about the, the characters that they are. And, you know, occasionally we might have to go in and connect the line or something, but the nice thing about this is um, we don't really have to worry about that today as much, just a lot of fix here and there if we see a stray line or something that's not quite right.
I feel like we don't even need this uh, these designs to be perfect because we're really just using these designs to give us a frame of reference. These aren't even model sheets in the strictest sense. Also, they're kind of going to be serving as makeshift model sheets, I guess, for the foreseeable future for my purposes. But we're really just making this artwork just so we can... Uh, just so that I have something I can refer back to and I know how these characters are going to look. In the daily comic strip. in the gap there. Clearly something that I have missed. Talking about this on stream before, but sometimes when you're outlining an area that you're planning on filling in, you'll have a, sometimes it's a gap and it'll be underneath the actual liner and it's an area where you can't even see it. going to do actually is we're not going to leave the hair that uh, well it's not going to be all that color because we're going to add in some uh, some green highlights as well just to shake things up I really try to uh, give every member of the main cast their own sort of color scheme and keep everybody sort of visually distinct it can be kind of uh, challenging because it's like you know, uh, you can have, you know, this, this character has a black hair, this character has brown hair, or this character has blue eyes and this character has green eyes, and then eventually you need to start to, as the cast gets bigger, you need to find ways to make everybody more interesting and make sure that, and that's another way that you keep everybody um, visually distinct from each other so that you know who's who. And again, not going to be as big an issue with the daily comic strips because everything's in black and white, but you know, for my purposes for when I'm going to be doing the characters and colorist, I want everybody to have their own signature colors. And I probably shouldn't be adding a new layer for every little element of the art because that's going to up my CPU usage as well.
just make the center pupil. In fact, we'll need to make it a little bit darker than that otherwise. It's going to blend in too much. Oh, that might be too much. I may actually... Find a little convention here. And make the... Center people lighter than... The inner area. That's kind of the inverse of the way that we usually do it, but... It might work better that way. I think we're still skipping frames, so that's... Ah. This is very frustrating to me. I don't know how the stream is it's looking for you guys, but... Uh, I mean, that really isn't good. I don't know why we're starting to have this issue now where we didn't seem to have it with streams in the past. Really nothing that should have changed other than what I've tried to change to fix it, I mean. Violet shade just now for this so that I can see what color this is uh, showing up as on the canvas. I'm going to switch this later on.
I get the impression that uh, in Anadale Academy, even though obviously there's uh, a dress code and a uniform, it seems like a lot of the students uh, are very the word I'm looking for here. A lot of the students seem very willing to push the boundaries of what they can get away with so you see some characters when they're in conventional ways to wear their uniforms or they will wear sneakers or things like that that probably aren't uh, aren't actually allowed, but... I suspect that uh, so many of them are sort of flaunting the rules. And... That Craven is just, uh, she's just, uh... throwing her hands up about it. It's gotten so out of control that it's beyond her power to enforce it at this point. Should now uh, be able to fill that out. There we go.
Okay, I'm actually... The Violet Blazer is kind of growing on me and I'm kind of thinking I might keep it now. It really isn't school approved insofar as everybody else is wearing white blazers, so... She really shouldn't be allowed to wear that, I would think, but again... Everybody else kind of uh, flaunts the rules in one way or another, or a lot of the characters do. So maybe I'll actually just keep it. Oh, saying that I'm just. Uh, Working the right layer. I don't think it's any secret at this point that. I'm a big fan of purples and violets and blues as well, pastels, grey and uh, silver and blue, I like the blue being sort of the signature Corby brand colours. Blazers. Up here.
I'm not sure about the eye colour. I might actually switch them around. Yeah, that's probably more in line with the sort of the Kirby house styles. That might work a little bit better. Um, okay, what's next? Right, we'll go ahead and get started working on the hair. Take a finer pen than that, I think. But are the light parts I'm gonna highlight with the, the green areas.
Yeah, I don't know for sure, but uh, I think the rapid fire pen strokes that I'm doing here are upping the CPU usage, and now it's at 99%. So now I assume that uh, the whole stream is just choking up, and uh, nobody can see what I'm doing. So. Make things worse by adding another layer. And we will set that to. If I can find that in the list. Set that to screen. And we'll just start to add in some little highlights. Yeah, as soon as we start adding in those uh, additional highlights, it really starts to give the, the hair a sense of volume and, uh, and weight. It makes the hair feel a lot less flat and a lot more two-dimensional. A uh, three-dimensional, I should say, so. <laughs> And add another screen layer on top of that. I'm just going to really narrow focus this time. Can you add these layers? We don't need to cover all the same command again. We just pick the areas where the light is going to hit the most. Really said earlier that.
I mean, we can mix things up if we add a multiply layer. And we'll take, instead of the grey this time, we'll use the base colour there, instead of the charcoal grey. And we'll start to pick out the areas that are going to be darkest. these two strands that come down from the centre here by just making sure that those are very clear. I think we can leave it at that just now if I want to go back later on and maybe add a little bit more then we can do that as well. start to work out some of their areas as well.
I'm still getting the skipped frames. I know I'm kind of obsessing about this, but obviously I want to make sure that everybody can see what's going on, otherwise I don't know what the point is of doing the show. Um, it's really... Yeah, I assume it's just locked up completely there. I don't know what I can do about that because I'm not sure what else I can shut off to. Try on. Speed things up again.
I like to maybe add some additional detail on the shirt here at the bottom, but I think actually I'm not going to remove that. A lot of trying to work in a more cartoony style, which obviously I've been doing for some time now, uh, over the last couple of years of Kirby is sometimes you have to avoid adding in additional details even if it would make uh, the piece look more realistic because you have to remember that that isn't really the aim the aim is for everybody to have a more cartoony sort of look and one that you can replicate over and over again. The more details that you add into your character design, the more, more, the more work you're making for yourself down the road.
Yeah, I think we're almost done. I think the only thing we have left to do now is uh, the shoes and the socks. Which I've been kind of dilly-dallying about because I couldn't decide what colours I want to make them. Well, the shoes I'm pretty sure are going to be... Uh, just plain white sneakers, but... Says we'll colour them grey just now while I fill them in.
I think we're going to do the same thing with the socks as well. I think I'm going to keep the socks plain white. And we'll just add a little bit of grey for shading. There's still probably a few little areas that I could uh, fiddle with, but it's about 4 o'clock so we're about done with the stream today. I want to thank you all for coming out today. I know we've had some teething problems our first day back. Um, I'm going to keep working to try and iron that out as well. If, I, if it means I have to go find, a, find another computer to work on to see if uh, I can get rid of these performance issues that we're having or if I need to just uh, keep working away and try and find whatever's causing uh, the uh, the frame skipping issues we've been having uh, I'm gonna have to do that because uh, we never had these issues prior to uh, the last two streams I don't think I mean, I don't know if it's just Clip Studio Paint, I'm, I'm looking at the CPU usage and it seems like it's just OBS that's uh, using up most of the, uh, you know, the processor um, resources. So, it's going to be something I'll, 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 I'll do some work on anyway. And hopefully, uh, for tomorrow's stream we can get that looked in, into and get that sorted um, yeah on tomorrow's show what we'll do is I'll reveal the second uh, of the new characters who are going to be uh, prominent additions to the cast starting with uh, the new daily comic strip when that goes live uh, they're not going to be the only two additions by the way they'll be uh, other new uh, uh, characters certainly in the in the school faculty I think as well there'll be new villains there'll be new additions all around I imagine but for now I want to thank you all for coming out and uh, staying with me as we've worked our way through this uh, yeah, that's the the plan for tomorrow. Is uh, we'll do another coloring stream. I don't know what we're going to do beyond that, but we should be back into a regular schedule. And I hope that you will uh, log on and uh, and join me on stream every day, two till four for the rest of this week. And uh, that's the plan. We'll just get back into a regular routine. I am going to work today as well on getting that poster up and uh, hopefully it will be available for you to download very soon uh, if you are a Kofi donor and after that also we'll get that added on uh, the Kirby store on Teespring as well. By the way, uh, I have lowered the prices on 
everything that is on the Kofi Teespring store because uh, I know the prices are expensive but I know it's tough for everybody just now anyway uh, a lot of people don't have a lot of disposable income to go around but the uh, standard sort of item prices on Teespring uh, are quite high anyway uh, before you even add the the markup from the creator end, but the price, the, the the minimum prices that they will allow me to set an item to uh, are, are uh, quite high. So what I've done basically is I have reduced my uh, profit margins on everything to almost nothing. So at most anything that you purchase, I'll just get a few pennies from it, but. Uh, I hope that that will make the prices more palatable for you if you'd like to support Kirby uh, and uh, just uh, help make future projects happen and just, and just also have a way of, of, of displaying your support as well whether it's by buying a poster 